okay so the question that we're going to be doing is power of x to the power n so we have already done the recursive approach and uh, in that the time complexity and the space complexity is actually log n and the space complexity is also log n so in the previous approach we have our time complexity as log n and space complexity also log n and in this one what we're going to be doing is we're going to be optimizing the space complexity as bigger one so let's see how we're going to approach that so let's say we have 2 to the power 12 and we have to calculate this so what we can write this as okay we can write uh, this as 2 to the power 2 into 6 and uh, another way to actually write it is 4 to the power 6 and now what we are going to do is we are going to write it in another way further down so by that let's see what that means so we can write it as 4 to the power 2 to the power 3 and we can write this as uh, let's say 16 to the power 3 and again we can write this as 16 into 16 to the power 2 and again we can write this as let's say 16 into 16 and in a way we can take it as 16 to the power 1 16 to the power 1 and we can further write it down as 16 into 16 to the power 0 and we know that as soon as something to the power 0 is actually 1 so ultimately this is actually 16 now why we have actually done this so we can say that this 16 is actually one part of the recursion the like in the recursive approach it was one part of the recursion but in the iterative approach we can take this 16 as one part of the solution and we can actually put it right here and as we have already calculated this part we also got a solution for the rest of the half part so in a way what we are actually doing is we are actually doing n by 2 for every power so here we can observe that previously it was 12 we have further broken it down to 6 to 3 and as soon as we actually got an odd power we have separated one part of the element here and the rest then we have actually put it as the even power and then again continued our solution so that is what we are actually doing here so now like uh, we have already got one part of the solution we are gonna give it back and uh, as soon as we got the power we can actually pass the solution right back and again we are gonna pass it right back right back further down, further down the line and ultimately we are gonna get our answer so how we can actually do this in code so let's see okay so now as i have said that uh, as soon as there is uh, even power so the thing is that we are gonna have a partition where for one part we are going to get our solution and for the rest of it 
we are gonna use this one which we have already calculated so that was actually happen in the recursion and that same concept is gonna be applying here so let's see how we are gonna actually do it okay now the thing is that first one we are gonna be storing our answer somewhere so that's why we have taken our variable as answer one and let's see so we have our answer here and let's say we have some x element and we have our power n as let's take it as seven now the thing is that as soon as we're going to encounter a power which is odd so what we are doing is we are separating our element and the rest of the solution of the power so let's say we have let's say encountered an odd one so this n and one is actually used for calculating if a number is even or odd so we have encountered an odd number so we are going to include that in our answer which is the x element and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go and reduce this power by one because we have actually used one element here and now this is actually multiply and now again we're going to check if the power is even or odd so in this case now it is even so what we are going to be doing is we are actually gonna multiply the element with itself and like why we actually did that because if you're gonna see that if we multiply the element by itself then let's say if like let's say the element was three and if you multiply it with itself then what is going to happen is uh, the answer is going to be nine and we can actually divide our power by two and now the thing is that we don't need to calculate the half of the answer for the rest of it and let's see how this is actually going to help let's dry run this so let's say we have our answer as one our x element as three and we have n our power as nine <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to check is my power is it odd or even in this case it is odd so what we are going to do is we are going to multiply our answer with the element x which is three and we are going to reduce our power by one now in this case it is actually even so what we are going to do is we are going to multiply our x element with itself which is going to be three into three nine and we're going to divide our power by two so this is going to be four again we're going to check is my power is even or odd it is even so what we're going to do is we're going to again multiply our element which was now nine with itself nine nines are 81 and we're going to divide our power by two so now it is again two and again we're going to check our power is even so again we're going to do 81 into 81 and divide our power by 2 now in this case it's 1 so now our power is actually odd so now what we are going to do is we're going to multiply our power with the rest of our answer and now in this case it is 81 into 81 and the resultant of this is actually going to be our 3 to the power 9 so that is how this approach is actually working and the thing is that there could be some exceptional cases so let's say we have a power as negative and let's say we have x to the power uh, let's say in 
नेगेटिव और लेट्स से इंटमिन तो दिस इज इंटमिन इज एक्चुअली द लिमिट एंड द थिंग इज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू हैंडल द आंसर ऑफ इट इन एयर सो दट यू हैव टू एक्चुअली यूज द लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बिकॉज लेट्स से इन अवर सोल्यूशन वॉट वी आर गन एक्चुअली बी डूइंग यू आर गन वन डिवाइड बाय वॉट एवर द आंसर यू आर गन एक्चुअली कैलकुलेट एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ इट द पावर पार्ट विच यू आर गन कैलकुलेट सो दिस इज गन हैपन फॉर नेगेटिव वन सो इफ द पावर इज नेगेटिव यू आर गन फर्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू पॉजिटिव एंड calculate the power as like you are calculating and finally at the end you are going to divide it by 1 divide by whatever answer that you have calculated so the thing is that if you have actually the negative power and you actually going to try to convert the int min into positive by let's say using absolute of int min so the thing is you are going to get a, a overflow and uh, your solution is not going to work and it is going to throw an error so what you can actually do is uh, you can store this power n because this is actually in integer so you can actually store this power in long so let's say you call it as temporary n which n where n denotes the power and you can just store it here and now if you're going to try to use the absolute of temp n now this time it is going to convert it successfully and you're going to receive no error and you can use this to calculate the power so let's look at the solution so as i've said that we are going to have a answer and here we have handled the case for the negative power and converted in to long and as soon as we encounter odd number we are doing our answer into whatever the element we have and reducing the power by 1 else what we are doing the if the power is even we are multiplying the element with itself and we are n divided by 2 and we are cutting down our solution to log logarithmic and we are going to do it until our n is not equal to 0 so we are going to keep repeating this process and at the end whatever the answer is we are going to check if our power was negative and if our power was negative we are going to one divide by whatever the answer that we have calculated and all of this is happening in double so keep that in mind so we are going to type cast our one because in this case it is actually even so we are going to type cast it double first and then use the division else we are going to simply return our answer so if i submit this let's see so our solution is working so to summarize we have to first handle our negative case and uh, we have already handled the n, where n is equal to 0 and we are going to handle our overflow of negative power and uh, like uh, when we were absolute of power we i have explained like why we are going to receive a error and to handle the overflow we are going to use long for our power and again initialize our answer with 1 and whenever the n is odd we are going to multiply it with like uh, the on the element and whenever it is going to be even let's call it element and whenever our n is actually going to be even we don't need to calculate the half of the part again so we are going to just going to multiply the element with itself so that is what is we are going to do answer is equals to answer into element in this case so and this is exactly how we are doing that and that's about it for this and the time complexity is going to be our log in and because this is actually a iterative solution so the space complexity is going to be bigger one and because we have like used anything like a record or no anything so that's why the space complexity is going to be bigger one and that's about it for this